to be here to update you on our progress with the Golem project. So uh, I think Golem project is, is with Ethereum almost from the beginning. Uh, in fact, we, we, we thought about Golem project shortly after learning about Ethereum because I believe that Ethereum is the technology that makes the concept possible. So um, as this is our uh, third uh, DEF CON already, I will only describe the, the concept, the basic concept uh, very shortly. Uh, so Golem is to be a, a market for computing power where uh, anyone can like s set an offer to sell the time of uh, a machine, of, of the computing, and anyone else can uh, use advantage of that and, and, and buy this, this, this time uh, by computing a, a, a heavy computing task on the provider machine. So there are two very important parts of this equation. There are hardware providers and task requesters or, or, um, uh, or requesters, that's how we call them. But there is also the third very important element that we have a little bit um, overskipped in the communication uh, recently, who are software developers. And we thought that as we are on a DEF CON, after all, maybe we should tell you more how we plan to integrate software developers into the equation. Uh, so like with, like with every, um, like it, like it, with every complex system with many players, you need to have some features and some incentives which makes players to use the features. And in our case, we have a uh, feature uh, as a goal name is a flexible platform to deploy and monetize software. That's for software developers, of course. And also, Golem is a tool to uh, sell a hardware time or bar buy hardware time if you are uh, in need of some. So this is the basic concept. Uh, we have made actually quite uh, a good progress since the previous uh, DEF CON, DEF CON 1, where Piotr Janik presented our probabilistic nano payment scheme. Uh, we have a live public alpha version at the moment running on our testnet. So you are welcome to try it, to see the code on, uh, on, on a GitHub. Uh, and yes, and there is one great thing, you will be awarded uh, 100 ether if you join. But these are our testnet ether, so they are wor worth nothing. But still you can like, do some rendering with that, because what we have integrated so far is, is a Blender. Blender is an open source rendering software, so you can render yourself a picture or a movie and you know pay that with that with our testnet eaters so so those are the bases so now where is where is where is the big story for today for the big story i would like to tell you a little bit about no no not that way a little bit about about history so 80s were great time limal fancy haircuts but also like the beginning of of the personal computers era as we know it now so what happened in, in the early 80s? In the uh, early 80s, uh, IBM created the facto standard for personal computers, standard that exists to this day. This standard was uh, eventually reverse engineered by IBM competitors and hardware market, as we know it now, emerged. And the, the biggest winner of this hardware wars was a software company, uh, Microsoft, our, our, our sponsor today. And, and, and the truth is that, that the Microsoft was able to take advantage of that because standard for hardware emerged. So, in fact, hardware alone doesn't matter. Like, it doesn't matter at all. Hardware is worth as much as software running, uh, running on this hardware. And if there is a standard for hardware, then software can take advantage of it. Like it happened with, with the personal computers and, and, and Microsoft. So, like, I don't want to, to say that we are like creating standard for using every machine because there are many standards for that, many protocols. But what we are trying to do, we try to connect all the standards on the one platform with a one standard way of exchanging value using Ethereum network uh, for software and for computing power. And if this is simple for some 
computing power, you can ask how it is possible to integrate any software with the centralized system. And this is what I want to show you very shortly today. So we need great software, like beautiful software built by engineers, by software developers like you to take off, to make our Golem network great and to make Ethereum great. And to do that, we will need two concepts, which is Golem application registry and Golem transaction framework. So application registry is a very simple concept, in fact, that you register on chain your integration, like you, you identify yourself, your, uh, your application, some basic information that uh, enables user to find the application and to install the application to run it. And anyone can certify that. Anyone can say that this code is good, or can it anyone can say that this code is bad, that is malicious, and blacklist it. And this is up to the user who to trust. So this is like the centralized trust, non-trust network, in fact. And this is how we want to make it possible to any developer uh, deploy uh, software for Golem. What is more, there are very many different uh, possible integrations with many different reward schemes. If you think about how um, software companies are licensing the software, there's, there's like any possible scheme you can imagine, like uh, per user, uh, per computer, per hour, per day, per, per year, anything is possible. So we are not going to implement in our transaction framework any solution possible. We will provide, of course, for our integration uh, examples, how, th how that, that can be done for every party. But in fact, we think it should be possible for developer to integrate any reward scheme which is, which is compatible with some general standards. And I think those standards can be uh, summar summarized in, in, in just saying that it should be measurable, it should be fair, it should not enable you to do anything dangerous to, to other parties. So, and, and of course, over time, uh, I think that the, 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 the coming integrations will create a, a kind of set of templates that will create, in, in fact, this transaction framework that anyone creator can use later. And in fact, this is, those both concepts are, are very, very powerful because this will enable you not only to deploy your application on Golem network, but also use other parties' integrations in your integrations following their reward scheme. So this is like, uh, again, one more place where all the puzzles will meet together. And I think this is what will make both Ethereum and Golem strong, because as I can see on this conference, everything we built here is, is, is built of many different puzzles. Um, I will update you that we are another company that is using IPFS, for example. Maybe not in the integration which is live at the moment, but definitely we, we are going to integrate with IPFS quite soon. Uh, and as, as, as we, as, uh, as uh, Ethereum community, can benefit from using each other uh, integrations and solutions and software, uh, I think the same is true for, for applications running on, on, on the Golem network. Uh, and of course, like Golem is, is not for every application. Uh, at least at the beginning, it's for uh, heavy computing, mostly. Uh, but I think that over time, we, we will make it possible to, to run more, more and more very interesting things, very interesting uh, integrations. So uh, what is the plan? I, I, I see I have still some time left, so I will tell you what, what we plan next. Uh, as I said, uh, a month ago, we released our first alpha which is uh, working, but still a lot of work to be done. We hope to eventually advance that to a release uh, during the, yeah, it is hard to promise, but I, I hope this will be not years, but quarters rather, uh, maybe months. Uh, and this will be the, the, the first living uh, Golem network focused on, 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 on rendering, because we believe that computer graphic rendering alone is, is, is like major industry that is a uh, very interesting use case uh, itself. And, and then we will focus on providing you, that's developers, uh, with tools to integrate with, with Golem and, and deploying 
any any application that can take advantage uh, of, 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 of Golem and, and Ethereum uh, as soon as, as possible. So if you want to know more about the project, we we have our GitHub open, that, that that's obvious. That's that's actually that obvious that I don't have that on the slide. <laughs> but you can also visit our web page, our Slack or our blog where we update on the on the progress of the of the project. Thank you very much. <laughs>